Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited to dive into a book that's been creating quite a buzz, Ollie Hazelwood's latest novel, Not in Love. If you're a fan of romance with a touch of academia and a whole lot of emotional depth, then you're in for a treat. So, let's get started. Not in Love follows the story of Rue and Eli, two individuals navigating the complex aftermath of personal traumas while trying to find connection and love in unexpected places. Unlike Hazelwood's previous rom-com hits, this book takes a deeper, more serious tone, addressing themes like grief, food insecurity, and child neglect. However, rest assured, it still promises the happily ever after that fans of Hazelwood's work crave. Let's talk about the characters. First, we have Rue. Rue is an intriguing protagonist, intelligent, dedicated, and deeply affected by her past. Her journey throughout the book is one of self-discovery and healing, making her a character you can't help but root for. She's been through a lot, and her resilience is truly inspiring. Hazelwood does a fantastic job of making Rue's struggles feel real and relatable. Next, we have Eli. Eli is equally compelling. His struggles mirror Rue's in many ways, and his vulnerability adds a rich layer to his character. Their chemistry is undeniable, and watching their relationship evolve is both heartwarming and heartbreaking. Eli's journey is just as significant as Rue's, and their paths intertwine beautifully throughout the story. Now, let's dive into the plot. The plot kicks off with Rue and her best friend Tisha, facing a potential job crisis, when their company, Klein, undergoes a significant financial upheaval. This uncertainty serves as the backdrop for Rue's developing relationship with Eli. The story skillfully weaves together their professional challenges with their personal battles, creating a narrative that's both engaging and emotionally resonant. Rue and Eli initially use their physical relationship as a coping mechanism for their individual traumas. However, as they spend more time together, they begin to open up about their pasts, and their connection deepens. The plot takes us through their struggles with grief and loss, the impact of food insecurity, and the scars left by child neglect. Each of these elements is handled with care, making the story not just about love, but about healing and growth. Let's discuss the themes explored in Not in Love. Firstly, there's grief and healing. Both Rue and Eli are dealing with profound grief and loss. Hazelwood handles these themes with sensitivity, showcasing how these experiences shape their actions and relationships. The depiction of their healing process is raw and realistic, making it easy for readers to empathize with their journey. Next, the book addresses food insecurity and child neglect. These are heavier topics that add depth to the story. Hazelwood doesn't shy away from exploring how these issues impact her characters' lives, making the narrative more realistic and relatable. Rue's and Eli's backgrounds are intricately linked to these themes, adding layers to their characters and making their eventual triumphs all the more satisfying. At its core, Not in Love is about finding love and connection amidst chaos. The physical relationship that Rue and Eli initially use as a coping mechanism gradually transforms into something more meaningful and profound. This transformation is beautifully written, showing how love can be a powerful force for healing and change. Now, let's talk about Ollie Hazelwood's writing style. Hazelwood's writing in Not in Love is both poignant and witty. She balances heavier themes with moments of levity and humor, ensuring the story never feels too overwhelming. Her signature style, intelligent, relatable, and deeply emotional, shines through, making this book a page-turner. The dialogue is sharp and engaging, the pacing is perfect, and the emotional beats hit just right. So, in conclusion, Not in Love is a powerful addition to Ollie Hazelwood's repertoire. It's a departure from her lighter rom-coms, venturing into more serious territory, while maintaining the charm and romance that fans love. If you're looking for a book that offers both emotional depth and a satisfying love story, Not in Love is a must-read. I highly recommend this book to anyone who enjoys contemporary romance with a touch of real-life issues. Hazelwood has proven once again that she's a master storyteller, capable of crafting narratives that are both entertaining and thought-provoking. The characters are well-developed, the plot is engaging, and the themes are handled with care and sensitivity. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you've read Not in Love, 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love hearing from you all and discussing these amazing books. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.